Hey, Richard Bryce here, Tennis Hacker. In this video, I wanna help you to have sharper and faster reactions at the net. A lot of players, they react a little bit too slowly at the net and it causes them huge problems because obviously at the net, we've got way less time. When we're hitting from the baseline, we've got you know maybe two, sometimes three seconds in between us hitting the ball and it coming back to us at the net, we're gonna half that time. So having fast reactions and fast visual processing is gonna be really important for you. So what I wanna do is show you two very simple tennis vision training drills to to speed up your reactions and reflexes. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this type of content, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel as well. Now, when it comes to having faster reactions at the net, there are a lot of different visual skills that we might potentially need to work on because you've got different parts of the brain that are responsible for different sorts of visual processing. We've got different parts of the brain that control eye movements in different directions. So there's a number of options. But here, I wanna show you two really simple ones, but they're also two of my favorites. The first one is gonna be a pencil push-up drill. So you're going to hold the pen or pencil out in front. I'm going to be focusing my eyes on the tip of the pen. I'm going to be slowly bringing that in, trying to take it all the way to the bridge of my nose. So I'm focusing on the tip. I'm trying to take it all the way into the bridge of my nose. Notice it's not going down there. It's not going up there. I'm aiming right in the center. So my eyes are kind of going cross-eyed as I do that. And then I'm going to go slowly out. Now, hopefully you should be able to get all the way in so i should be able to bring the tip of the pen all the way in to the bridge of my nose without it splitting in two or doubling but what can happen because potentially you might not have good coordination or control over this movement your eyes because they're camera lenses one of them might come in and the other one might not come in and when that happens the tip of the pen is going to start to split in two and double because now you've got two camera lenses that are seeing a slightly different thing so if that happens for you you need to go nice and slowly if it happens then say it happens at this distance it starts to split in two i'm going to back off a little bit so it's a single target and that is going to be the position that i'll work from so now i'll be doing my pencil push-ups like so if you can go all the way in, then that's what you'll do. If you can't, then you're just gonna stop at the distance that you can get to. Now, this is a really important visual skill training drill. So if you can't go all the way in, over time, one of the things that you're gonna try and work on is being able to get it all the way to the bridge of your nose without your eyes splitting. Now, it's a really good idea to record yourself doing this because often, you might not be able to detect that one of your eyes isn't doing its job properly, but when you watch it back on camera, it's really obvious. So drill number one is the pencil push-up a good kind of starting point is going to be about five to ten repetitions so maybe go five in one hand five in the other but make sure you don't cause yourself any eye strain so if you need to do less than that then go less and it's an exercise that you're really going to potentially build up over time and we might need to progress it and train it and challenge it in other ways but just you know five to ten reps in each hand is going to be a fantastic starting point that's going to help you to react more quickly at the net for the second drill we're going to be working on a near fast switch and this is going to be a really important drill because one of the hard parts about reacting quickly is you either play your ground stroke, your approach shot to move into the net, or you play your first volley, and then you've got to really quickly change your focal length. So you change from looking at something that's up close to something that's at the other end of the court. And for some people, that can literally take a period of time. And if that's too slow, you won't be able to react fast enough. So that's the skill that we're going to be working on here. The way we're going to do it, I'm going to be using a pen again. I'm going to bring it in. So for me, I'm going to go for about six inches this time. So I can bring it all the way in, but if I bring it past this point, the target gets a little bit blurry. So I'm going to take it away to me, for me, about six inches, so it's crystal clear. If you can go to three inches or closer and have it crystal clear, then do that. If you need to be 12 inches away or nine inches away to have it crystal clear, just bring it as close as you can, maintaining full quality clarity obviously if it's blurry the whole time then just bring it to about six inches but i'm going for about there and i'm going to look at the close target i'm going to switch to looking at the number that's at the back of the court and then 
back to the close target and I'm just going to switch back and forwards between the two and again I'm not so sure how well you can see my eyes because the sun is shining so I might be squinting a little bit but I'm switching pretty much rapid fire there 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 because I've trained my system to do this but you might find when you do it it takes you know you look at the close target and then you switch and look at the far target it might take maybe one two even three seconds for the far target to come into focus and if that happens that's obviously going to be holding you back and we're going to be working on training and improving that speed over time so that is the drill that we're working on Again, start off nice and small and slow and sensibly. So go for about you know 10 to 20 reps to start with. But again, it's the sort of drill where we can really start to train it and challenge it and do a lot more repetitions over time to improve how the system functions. Okay, two very simple drills, but they can be very effective if you work at them consistently. Now, when it comes to tennis vision training, there are a lot of other exercises that we could choose and that you might potentially need to work on to really help you take your game to the sort of level you want to be playing. If that's something you're interested in learning more about, this is kind of the area that I work with players in. I use brain-based training to help players improve reaction speed, help players improve ball tracking, to help players improve their consistency so they've got more control on their shots and they can use higher level technique. So if you would like to learn more, I've created a free masterclass uh, that's gonna teach you all about it. I'll place a link up there and I'll place a link down in the description so that you can check those out. It's also gonna tell you a little bit about my program at the end of the masterclass. So if that's something you're interested in pursuing, it'll tell you what the next steps are that are involved, okay? I hope you have enjoyed the video and got a lot out of it. Uh, any questions about these drills uh, or any comments you would like to make, I would love you to leave them down below. I'll catch you next time.